Hey guys, welcome to Traditional Bow Hunting Wilderness Podcast. This is Jason Samkovic. Today we're going to talk about a very cool and dirt cheap uh, mod that you can do to any car. Now I've had, when I bought this Cherokee, in my last Renegade I had a roof rack on it. Now last Renegade I had some, I think they are made by Brightline for 120 bucks or something. And then when I bought this, I bought those and put it on here too. But the problem was they only fit right here and in certain spots. They were not adjustable. And I go through a car every two years or so. So when I get rid of this, I'm going to want to transfer them over to my other one. I was looking because I need some way to carry my kayaks up here and my boat and things like that occasionally. And I saw this and I thought I'm going to try it impressed very impressed fifty dollars okay fifty bucks for two of these um and they are got some major features that the other ones don't have first of all um the the mechanism here is nice and simple but look at it slides anywhere on the bar either side of them do so i can adjust these to make them fit any vehicle that i want so i can put these on this car i can put them on my daughter's compass i can put them on any vehicle i want if i sell this and i buy a toyota 4runner i can put them on that if i buy uh you know what if i buy a pickup truck with racks on the top i can use these same crossbars. I no longer have to buy dedicated crossbars, uh, spending 100 to 200 bucks per car, 50 bucks, and I have adjustability to use on any one of them. And they're key locking too, which is kind of a nice feature. So there's a lot of benefits to them, uh, but they're a real high quality bar. I'm pretty impressed with them. Yes, this is plastic, but if you look in here, that mechanism is super thick inside of there. You're not pulling these out. Um, and you don't tie to the bars anyway. You tie to these with your stuff up there anyhow so all these are doing is giving you a way to get the height that you need to clear like an antenna and stuff that's back there when i put my boat on and to give you a stable platform to put stuff across these fit that bill for a dirt cheap price i've never seen such a cheap price and when i ordered them i was quite skeptical thinking these are going to be an absolute joke i was wrong i was way wrong these things are pretty sweet and they give you a simple tool to adjust these all you're doing is taking this and you put it right inside this hole. It fits right in there. It hits the screw hole and you can open and close these so you can adjust real quickly where you want that to be at and they clamp right on. So it's a very simple process. You can see I got one on here already, which I'm going to pull you off and show you the details. And then I'll put the other one on. But if you look at this, pop you out of there. Here it is right there. I mean, that thing is on there, and that is so... Hang on, let me move my ladder out of the way so I can... Well, let's go around on this side where the ladder's not there. But, I mean, we are talking rock-solid connection. I mean, I'm shaking a whole... That thing is not moving or budging. That is solid. And, uh, like I said, and I can adjust them and put them anywhere I want to. Uh, I think they're 46-inch bar, I think, is what they are. So, you can see I still got room for even a little bigger SUV, and they do make them actually in a longer size if you have bigger cars but um but like i said this is going to fit any of these um you know these suv kind of things like this they actually give you in the description i'll put a link below show you what vehicles they'll, they'll fit on and you know how to make but as long as you have i think they're 46 inch rails and if you got 46 inches between this rail excuse me any other rail you're good to go but so versatile they don't sit super high up which is kind of nice uh i have not drove with them yet i will mount the other one and i'll take you for a spin and we'll see how the noise is because with my other ones on my renegade I would leave that one there all the time and I would take this one and slide it back over there and put it there and then I didn't get much noise. When I bought those Brightline ones for this particular vehicle and I had it mounted here where it only had to be right here, could not go any further back, I had constant on the highway. Uh, wind noise from that and this vehicle spends most of its life on the highway so that wasn't going to work for me but these very quick one bolt on the side here to take on and off and the simple adjustability of this uh, makes them pretty in and 50 bucks 50 bucks so I can throw my kayak on there and uh, just throw my kayak up right on there lash it right to these crossbars and I am set and good to go I got no worries at all um, that's a pretty flawless design for the money and being able to transfer it to other vehicles so let me go ahead get the other one mounted on there and we'll see what it's about okay well i got that one set on there it's not on yet but you can see how easy this is but basically so i just open you know i stick that thing in there and 
uh, this goes right into a screw hole in here and I loosen it up enough that I can drop it on here and then I'm just kind of putting it about where I think I want to have it at and it's just as simple as tightening these down now I want to first make sure that this distance from here to here I'm eyeballing it myself you can measure if you wanted to but these aren't staying on permanently for me but I'm gonna look at that and say okay we got about yay much let's walk over here and look at the other side and if I have to adjust I can slide that and see, I got to come over just a smidge more, I think, on this side so I can pull that wherever I want it at. Put that wherever I want it to be. Like that, let's guess. Looking at it, let's see if we're even. Yeah, I'm calling that, uh, nah, maybe a smidge more on this side. So we'll pull it over just a hair, about like so. And then all I'm doing is just wrenching this down real quick like this. And it's locking everything so it's clamping to the rail but it's also now locking that in position so it can't move and uh, that's it so i lock that side down go over here lock this side down and that's all there is to it i make sure i got that set right about at the edge right there like i want slide that right in that hole and then when i lock this side down quick and easy few turns and i have rails so we're talking about about a probably a three three to four minute uh to install these and put them on any vehicle which is gold i mean that's that's so nice so there i got that tightened on that set let's just set this over here so we don't lose it and that's it rock solid stable and we have a place now that we can we have racks on there that we can put our kayak or anything we want to on it um again are they are they you know yakima or uh thule or what a tool or what you know whatever these uh six five six seven hundred dollar ones are no they're fifty dollar rails but they will do exactly what you need and work great and then the key lock when you put the lock in here closes off this hole so nobody can get in there with a nail wrench to take these off so they are lockable which is a nice feature um for the money like i said for 50 bucks, I am excited about these. It's starting to rain right now. You can see it. We got some pretty good clouds coming. Uh, so I'm not going to run it. I'll, I'll probably drive it, but I don't want the water on the road to influence that noise factor. So as soon as it's not raining, I'll probably take it for a spin and see how they do and let you know. So we'll be back in a few. Here is what they are. They're Cargo Logic crossbars, 52 inches what they are. So they're two 52 inch crossbars and they adjust up to 46 inches. I said they were 46 inches. They're actually 52 inch bars and the clamps can work for 46 inches right here. So uh, 150 pound capacity, two key locks. I think that's what they say capacity wise. Let me see if I can get this sticker off. Um, yeah, 150 pound capacity on there, uh, but very impressive. I'm pretty stoked and excited to try them. Like I said, they're both mounted up on there. They look really good. I thought oh, if they're ugly, I'll uh, I'll rhino line them, but I'm not gonna. They look good on there, and uh, we're gonna see what they're all about. I'm gonna take them while I go do the running, and uh, you know I gotta go to post office bank, and I gotta hit the highway here. So we'll see how they do noise wise, and see what they're about. But for fifty dollars. $50 to be able to carry kayaks, all that stuff, and be able to transfer them from vehicle to vehicle in three minutes. Three minutes to take these off and put them on a different vehicle, and they'll fit other vehicles, all the other ones. So it is a universal buy once, never have to buy again. Don't sell them with the vehicle. Keep them and transfer them from car to car. That's a win-win in my book. Let's see what they do on the road. All right, well, there it is. I just drove. It's actually starting to rain now, but we just drove over to my mom's house. So we did about 20 miles. We did on the highway and we did on, uh, you know, regular roads. When you're above 55 with the radio off, you can hear them up there very lightly. When you hit about 70, 75, you know they're up there. They let you know. But they're not as loud as my last flat bar ones were. These are quieter than that. Um, but the good news three minutes I can pop them off so I'm not leaving them on here you'll lose gas mileage one or two miles per gallon that kind of stuff so they're not staying on there all the time uh, I will pull them off but I'm going to uh, but like I said so quick and easy with that screw you rent and pop them right off and uh, throw them there and uh, put them up when I need them so that's fantastic and for 50 bucks 49 dollars um, you just can't beat them and they transfer from vehicle to vehicle and on and off really quick I mean that is going to do exactly what I need and they are rock solid and that's going to work perfect so, um, and it does look like they have channels here in the top where you could probably put that out and then put mounts on there rather than just clamp mounts. So you can use a track mount system, looks like, in this. I'm guessing. Don't quote me on that. Um, I'm guessing you can. But, uh, but like I said, for the money, that's just perfect. Doesn't get any better than that. So I'm excited. 50 bucks. I can put them on any vehicle I want and they put them on and off in minutes. So there you go. Uh, thanks for watching. Talk to you soon. Bye.